teed up, and it's Roberto Carlos! Simply magnificent! Hey guys, welcome to Shark Gaming YouTube channel. Before we continue with this video, I'd just like to thank everyone who has gotten me to 600 subscribers. I really appreciate all of you guys. The only thing left to do now is just keep growing. So let's keep growing. So earlier, I opened the Iconic Moments Real Madrid pack, and on my second try, I got Roberto Carlos. And a couple subscribers asked me to review him, so here I am reviewing him. To me, Roberto Carlos is the complete fullback, but as with every player, you have the negatives and the positives. Since the positives outweigh the negatives by so much, I'll start with the negatives. For one, he's very short, so he won't win most aerial duels. Another negative is that he can only play in a counter-attacking formation as the position-based managers starve his runs down the flanks more often than not. Before we go to the positives, let's look at his stats. He's 90 rated but Max is at 94 without the club. These stats show that he is as good at attacking as he is at defending and is filled with a lot of tricks or skills in his arsenal such as long range shots, pinpoint crossing, early crossing, outside curl and knuckleball as well as the fact that he uses his speed to dominate the flanks and get his crosses in which usually results in goals on top of goals. It can also be noted that he can be played in numerous positions such as defensive mid and left mid as he's a balanced player. Roberto Carlos is actually very famous for set pieces such as free kicks and corners so you guys can use him if you don't have good set piece takers. The, um, in this clip I will show you a comparison between him and skulls in free kicks meaning that like Roberto Carlos is all about the curls and I also did a speed test between him and Alfonso Davis and it was proven that Roberto Carlos was actually faster than him because he has 96 speed and 91 acceleration. Alfonso Davis actually took 6 seconds to reach while Roberto Carlos took 5.7 seconds. It's just point three of a difference but at the same time that's still proving that he's faster than Alfonso Davis as well as more rounded because he has better attributes. But yeah, Roberto Carlos can be used as a regular winger as well because his pinpoint crossing is really really good and he can also send balls forward for the wingers which can set up into attacks like this. So I just hope that this review was good for you guys and you guys like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to share the video. Comment down below which other player I should do a review for. I'm out.